everyone. I'm Su Jung Hao. Welcome to SOMAX Sessions. Hi everyone. Welcome to the first SOMAX session. I'm Su, Technical Sales Manager for Australia and Asia. And uh, today I'll talk to you guys about what are jaw synthetics and what are the types of jaw synthetics and where are they used and what are their functions. So let's go into it. So before we start, I just wanted to let you know that jaw synthetics are actually all around us, probably without us realizing it. For example, in the retaining structures, you might be thinking that the wall is built to almost 90 degrees, but how can it stand there by itself? Or along a road where it is uh, being covered by soft soil, you might be thinking, why am I driving on a road that is relatively stable without a lot of deformations? Or even in a reservoir or water pond, why is the water being contained in a pond without seeping or leaking into the ground? Or when you are going to a beach site along the sea, you might see a lot of uh, stones, huge stones on top of the surface of the beach. And you might be thinking, why is the sand behind not leaking through the holes or gaps in between the huge rocks? Let's look into the cross section of each of these structures. So if you look into a retaining structures, you might see the surface of the retaining structures, but behind it, there might be jaw synthetics being constructed that is reinforcing the soil behind so that it is pulling the retaining structures back and reinforcing the whole structures. Whereas for a road, in between the embankment or the foundation soil, there could be a layer or two layers or even more jaw synthetics being installed to actually reinforce the road embankment. Whereas for water pond, there could be a layer of jaw synthetics materials being laid on top of a foundation soil to actually contain the water. Or even at the beach sites for erosion protection structures, there could be a jaw synthetics filter layer in between the rock armors and retained soil so that the soil behind is retained even though there are wave actions or water actions. So this brings us to one question. What is jaw synthetics? Jaw synthetics is actually a type of engineering materials, like how we use soil, steel, and concrete in our structures or any constructions. So the jaw synthetics word can be split into two. Jaw, which is related to ground, soil, and earth, and synthetic, which literally means a man-made materials. So putting these two words together forms the word geosynthetics. So geosynthetics in definition is a planar product manufactured from polymeric materials used with soil, rock, earth, or other geotechnical engineering related materials as an integral part of a man-made project, structure, or in a system. So geosynthetics are mainly polymeric type materials, although sometimes you will see natural materials being added into the product. So most of the time, they are exclusively being made by synthetic polymers. For example, here I've listed down a few polymers. So do not mind what type of materials it is behind. We'll explain it after. So for example, here polyethylene PE, which is used to make jaw membranes, jaw textiles, jaw grid, jaw nets, or jaw composites. So polypropylene PP are widely used to make jaw textiles, jaw grid, and jaw membranes, whereas polyesters, PET, are used to make jaw textiles and jaw grid. And the last one, polyvinyl chloride, PVC, are used to make jaw membranes and jaw composites. So this concludes my first sessions on a brief introduction about jaw synthetics. What are the raw materials we use to create the products? So stay tuned for the second sessions where I'll be talking about the functions of jaw synthetics materials and what are the types of jaw synthetics available in the market. Thank you.